Why is ice so good when you're pregnant? Daddy, I can't get baby. <laughs> no. Are you excited? Yes. Can you already tell what I'm making? <laughs> this is a big hint in this. I don't know about this combination. And then we'll just have to figure things out when both babies are here. It's gonna be a new challenge. Ooh. Oh my God, it's so smoky. You want the good news or the bad news first? <sighs> morning. Oh my goodness. 32 weeks, guys. Every morning I do a little, a little peek in the mirror and I cannot believe how big it's getting. Also, I just got my brows done yesterday, so they're looking really fresh. They'll look more normal once I put makeup on, but just excuse them for the first half of this video, please. Good morning. Hi. 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 Oh. <laughs> okay, an official good morning. I just made my iced herbal coffee. Oh, which I usually take my vitamin C beforehand. Hang on. Sage is already in my buffet cabinet, pulling everything out. Vitamin C every morning as a shot with some water. And if I sound nasally, it's because I did have a head cold like a week ago, and I just sound like this down. Cheers. Oh my goodness. Oh, I feel tight. I have to do some stretching today. I'm gonna share with you guys today basically what I actually eat eight months pregnant. I get so many questions on what I eat every single day and I'm just gonna share like some of my favorites that I've like shown a little bit on Instagram and stuff. One of them being my iced herbal coffee, which I have gone through a phase of, I'm not drinking it twice a day anymore, but I was drinking this twice a day. I was that obsessed with it. It's still super delicious. Sometimes I make it hot. Basically, I just do herbal coffee, two scoops of collagen, four drops of liquid stevia, and I brew that in like a small mug with hot water, mix it up, fill a large mason jar all the way with ice. That's essential. Pour the hot coffee in it. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's by Silk. It's their dairy-free half and half. I have bought like 10 of these cartons. No word of a lie. I've recommended it to people in the grocery store that are like, what should I buy? I'm like, this one. This is what you should buy. There's no added sugar. It's delicious. It's so creamy. By the time the ice kind of melts, it's ice cold and it's delicious. <sighs> Why is ice so good when you're pregnant? You can obviously make it with regular coffee, but if you've been following me for a while, you know I don't drink coffee. And also when you're pregnant, I don't think you're supposed to drink a lot of coffee anyways. So that works out for me because I don't like it anyways. It makes me kind of crazy and super anxious and I don't need more of that. Sage so is like quietly playing right now and it's amazing. Lately, I've been coming outside early in the morning, usually before Sage is actually up, but I slept in today. And I just like to stick my feet in the ground and do some grounding. And I just feel like it really helps kind of calm down my nervous system and just like start the day without just staring at a screen. I usually do some sun gazing. And honestly, I feel like these things have like helped my sleep. If you do some research about it, it's a thing, but I'm just trying to get into the habit of it, like even 10 minutes in the morning. It's kind of like a form of meditation and I like it. It's very calming. Oh, hi my darling. Do you want to go to the gym? Yeah? Matt's going to CrossFit this morning, so I'm also going to join the class, which means we got to bring this one. We brought her the other day and she did really, really good. We definitely had like her movie set up, snacks, games, like the whole thing. Sage, so, are you going to be a big sister? Yeah. Yeah? Go tell them. Say, I'm going to be a big sister. Daddy, I'm going to be a big sister. Where's the baby? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm probably gonna do an easy like granola yogurt bowl. Do you want some toast and strawberries? Yeah. That's her favorite breakfast, toast. Hi. Hey, hey! <laughs> Don't kick the baby! <laughs> Daddy, I can't get baby! <laughs> no, gentle. It's a mon. Good job. Okay, some sunflower seeds. Three, one, four, three, comma, you will be. Are we done? What? We're done. We're done? I just quickly got dressed for the gym. All Lululemon. I get asked a lot what I wear for working out and honestly, whatever fits. I have a very limited workout wardrobe right now. I kind of want to get like a couple pieces, but also I'm 
kind of like what's the point we're already near the end so I don't know tomorrow officially we are doing pre-orders for the toddler health nut cookbook which I'm so excited about yeah. are you excited yes yeah do you know all the recipes that mommy has been making you yeah what this means is that officially tomorrow you'll be able to actually buy the cookbook um, but you won't get it until it officially launches two weeks from tomorrow yes but the cool thing is if you pre-order not only are you going to get the early bird access pricing which is 20 percent off you are also going to get a free bonus recipe not featured anywhere else and that is my buckwheat granola clusters that i'm actually eating in my yogurt bowl today they're crunchy they're chewy they're so delicious so easy to make great for like on the go yogurt bowl having a cereal they're delicious you definitely want to get that recipe great for like back to school season it has over 30 recipes from breakfast snacks mains desserts dips it's just really exciting that it's finally done and i can share it with you guys because i've had so many parents message me like when is this coming out i need it asap so it is here well we'll be here in like two weeks officially in your inboxes and it's available to anyone worldwide i'm gonna have all the information linked down below in the info box so check it out and i'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on it and your little ones eating the recipes mm. yeah okay go in yep yeah. nothing better than just taking a shower and putting on some sweats. I was gonna wear something cute for today's video and I'm like no. These are actually Tommy John. They're like the best sweats I own. Like so comfy. I've washed and dried them and they still look brand new and they work so well under the butt. 10 out of 10. Matt's just heating up some sausages and then I'm gonna be making the famous TikTok like cottage cheese mustard bowl that I've actually been eating a lot. It's so good. I feel like I've been getting all of my pregnancy cravings from TikTok and I'm okay with it. But I am gonna have something I have after the gym that I haven't had yet is some electrolytes. I use Element. It's a mix of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. It's very salty, so you don't need to use the whole package. They come in a ton of flavors. I've been really liking the watermelon one. This one is citrus salt. I love this. This helps me with nausea, headaches, muscle recovery, hydration, sleep. Like, I just, I notice the difference when I use it. I really like it. And they do, I think my code's still active to get a free sample pack. Highly recommend um, trying out electrolytes and making sure you get one that doesn't have like a bunch of stuff in it or like added sugars. Okay, second thought, I'm having the orange salt. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. It's so refreshing, I love it. Can you already tell what I'm making? <laughs> this is a big hint in this. Broccoli. you're actually on the cottage cheese, so one second. Don't get it on my white shirt. <laughs> Can we just talk about how random this is? I just, I don't know about this combination, but it also tastes so good. When I first saw this, I think she's called like the mustard girl on TikTok. I was like, 
what is she eating? Like sausage and like, what is that white stuff and the yellow stuff? Like what is going on here? And then after I saw it like for the hundredth time, I tried it because it seemed like something I was craving and it just hits like all of the flavor taste bud notes, like sweet, savory, salty, sour, like crunchy. I love it. To be honest, I haven't had it in a couple weeks, but I was in a kick where I was eating it like all the time. So I thought I would share it in this video and I was like, I kind of miss it. I'm kind of craving it. And one of the hardest things this pregnancy has been getting protein. And this is so great. These are pork sausages. They're like a caramelized onion one. They're so good. It's by the, I'll put the brand here. They're like a really good quality sausage. So it's definitely key. You want to get a good sausage. Cottage cheese has such high protein. Hang on. Like no wonder it's trending everywhere because it has for half a cup, it has 15 grams of protein. And when you're like pregnant and nauseous and like having a hard time getting protein from anything, this, which is like apples in like black pepper, oddly enough, has been also a snack that I've been craving. And someone told me to try drizzled honey on top with like maybe apricot and apple. I don't know, but like cottage cheese, where have you been all my life? I don't know, I never ate it before. So I got broccoli, carrot, asparagus, raw celery, marinated artichokes, caramelized onion, sausage, strawberry, a wedge of apple, and cottage cheese, and mustard. Sounds normal, right? You want the good news or the bad news first? Good news, we're ready to eat and sit down and enjoy this delicious bowl of wholesome food. Bad news, Sage is screaming and obviously did not nap. It's a no nap day. Ah. Who knew? Carrots, cottage cheese, and mustard? What? Okay, I'm gonna sit down before we have to get Sage. <laughs> Can you hear Sage? She's not crying, but she's not resting either. I'm gonna go get her. It's a quarter to three. She's obviously not going to bed. I think she might have had like a little power nap. I'm not quite sure. Matt's really into golfing right now, so he went to the driving range. He definitely deserves some alone time. He has been the most amazing support system uh, during this pregnancy. Like he basically does like all the naps and bedtime routines. I join in, but he's like, running the show and I'm just so tired. I used to feel guilty about it. I don't anymore. I'm just like, it is what it is. We're in a season of daddy needs to help out a little bit more with parenting while mommy grows a baby. So, and then we'll just have to figure things out when both babies are here. It's gonna be a new challenge. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go take my vitamins. I have some fish oil, vitamin K and D, magnesium, prenatals, probiotics, and then I also take a liquid vitamin D as well. Tea. So we had a little cuddle on the couch. Now we got a bathing suit on and daddy's filling up some like water blob sprinkler thing. She loves to see herself in the viewfinder. It's in my bathing suit. You got your bathing suit. It's five o'clock already, what the heck? Also, I drink a ton of water throughout the whole day. Sometimes with ice. Do you have to go potty? No. Okay, well. Okay, let's go outside. <laughs> this is what we're working with. Kind of like a water bed. Okay, these are like the raw vegan like snicker bites I get from the smoothie shop. I do have a recipe on my blog that's kind of similar. So I'll link that below. It's an old, old recipe, but it's a goodie. So good. So I'm just having this. So maybe the dark chocolate will act as a pick me up. Right, I'm gonna spend some time outside and then we'll figure out dinner, which I'm very excited for, but I also don't know if I have the energy to make it, but I will for you guys. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Matt is already prepping dinner. I'm gonna take over in just a second. I was just chilling upstairs. I literally told Matt, I'm gonna go upstairs and just like watch a YouTube video by myself <laughs> before making dinner. I was just like, I need a little break and I feel better. I'm glad I took that time for me. So I'm gonna do my famous pork chop, like on the bone with a mushroom gravy. Wild rice takes a bit. This doesn't take too long. I'm gonna soak the cashews though because that's what we're gonna use for our cream. I need some broth and we'll need garlic. I'm gonna do three cloves of garlic. I don't actually think I have a written recipe for this recipe. So I'm gonna give you an eyeball amount. I do a combination, olive oil and butter. I'm gonna sizzle it in an iron skillet and then we're gonna sear our pork chops, both sides for a few minutes so we get like a nice golden coating and then we'll remove them. 
add in the onion, saute with the garlic, the mushrooms. I usually add more olive oil at this point. Saute everything, salt, pepper, maybe some thyme, and then we're gonna make our cream sauce. Also, I asked Matt to get bananas. These are the greenest bananas. These will be ready next week. Did you go to Bulk Barn? Matt's guilty pleasures, licorice. I am doing a pre-soak cashews just to soften them up. Let them sit for like 10 minutes in hot water. hot in here I needed a refreshing drink anytime I'm feeling like I need a pick-me-up nauseous lightheadedness ice cold water with the squeezes squeeze of citrus always does the trick <sighs> nature's electrolytes everything's looking good I have the asparagus in the oven which I probably should check on Ooh, I gotta turn that and I got the rice going the sauce is gonna come together and Sage has already asked me mommy dinner so poor things hungry I gotta hurry up Oh my god, so smoky. You know she's hungry when she's pushing her high chair. There you go. Thumbs up. I'm quite literally sweating. Oh my goodness. Sage is already on her second helping of rice. Check. And I'm gonna dig in. This looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I put the full pork chop on my plate. I'm probably just gonna have half. And I don't know, I find dinner. I don't actually eat a huge portion. Sage is powering through the rice and asparagus. You need more what, asparagus? Seconds, guys, just want seconds. These are the types of like home-cooked comfort meals I've been craving these days. Like takeout just doesn't do it for me. Mm, I forgot the hot sauce. Mm. Okay, it's after 10 and I'm feeling like a little sweet treat. Honestly, I feel like I haven't been much of a nighttime snacker. I usually just make like a tea and slice up some fruit, which I'll probably still do later, but Matt got me some ice cream, this like cool way one. Ice cream I really like, cause the ingredients are really good, is Coconut Bliss. Um, this one's just cool way, it's a mint chip. It says it's like high in protein, low in sugar. I'm gonna have that and uh, finish watching a movie. I'm just watching Focus. Matt's already upstairs, he's just reading and I'm feeling a little peckish. So I'm gonna have some ice cream. I literally couldn't scoop it cause it's so frozen solid. So I'm just taking it to the couch, spoon, tub of ice cream. If this isn't the most like late night pregnant snack, I don't know what is. <laughs> I was wondering where you were. Oh. <laughs> All right, I am just about to wash up for bed. I got my chamomile lavender tea and I'm going to wash my makeup off, get all cozy lay on my acupressure mat and put on my magnesium balm <laughs> on my legs because they're feeling restless. All right, that's it for today's What I Eat In A Day video, eight months pregnant. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do another one or what types of videos you want me to do before baby number two comes. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a future video. And don't forget to sign up. The link will be down below to be the first to know when the toddler health nut cookbook is officially ready for pre-order. Thank you so much, guys. Mwah! Have a fabulous night or whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.